Let's go. Go, go. Faster. Take it easy. Come on. Just destroy it. Ought to just destroy it. Who's that? Uh, the room. 
Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Wojtek. I... I... They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well... Like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though no, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then. From the woods, a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, for the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for a mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did death. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is.
That's it, Roach. Ought to just destroy it. That's it, Roach. Go, go. Run, Roach. Come on, Roach. Whoa there, Roach. <laughs> 